There is a BBC host that's getting a ton of criticism because of a joke that he made uh, during a talk show. And we've talked about him before. His name is Jeremy Clarkson, and he is one of the hosts on BBC's Top Gear, which is a car show that I actually really enjoy. It's really funny, it's, it's amusing. And you know, he's really known for kind of being a bit of a douchebag, right? That's kind of, <laughs> no, but that's part of his shtick. You know, uh -huh. he makes, he's very sarcastic. He does make a lot of um, rude jokes. Mm -hmm. So um, the reason why he's in the media today is because he made an appearance on another show on the BBC known as The One Show. And during that show, he was asked about his thoughts on the people who are striking in Britain. Now, if, obviously, you know that people in Britain, especially public workers, have uh, cuts made to their pensions as uh, part of the austerity measures. Uh, so Good, good, because since uh, the government and the bankers screwed up, we should definitely cut the pensions of the middle class. I'm glad it's happening in Britain as well as in America. Yeah, it is happening in Britain. But, you know, just like uh, people that are partaking in the Occupy Wall Street protests, people are also protesting in Britain, right, especially the unions. Now, uh, Jeremy Clarkson was asked about that, right, and uh, here's his response. I'd have them all shot. <laughs> I would take them outside and execute them in front of their families. I mean, how dare they go on strike when they've got these gilt-edged pensions that are going to be guaranteed while the rest of us have to work for a living? Yeah, you know, it depends on which side he's on. Because context matters, right? So he's obviously joking. So I don't think he wants to execute them in front of their families. That part I've already gotten past. Uh, the question is, is he, you know, on their side and he's over the top kidding or is he against them and he's venting against them with the joke of executing them, right? Mm -hmm. And he clearly seems to be against them, so he's a douchebag. Is it a, bad enough that it should have consequences? I don't know, what do you think? I think he should at least apologize because it, even if it was a joke, it was a really bad joke and it really struck a chord with people who have their livelihoods in jeopardy right now. Um, he did issue a semi-apology. He basically said, well, if people are offended, then I guess I will apologize alongside the BBC. The BBC did issue an apology for mm -hmm. Jeremy Clarkson, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I don't know if he should be fired just because this is kind of the type of humor that the audience is used to from him. No, I have a ruling. I have a ruling. Uh, he shouldn't be fired. The guy makes jokes, okay? You don't, we didn't like that joke. A lot of people who are striking and legitimately angry about those issues didn't like the joke. But if he was a serious guy, it's a totally different thing. I mean, look, here in the U.S., Newt Gingrich literally says uh, people who are taking drugs, we should apply the law in Singapore, which means execute them, right? Mm -hmm. And he's not joking, and he's not a comedian, and in fact, he's leading the Republican race. He's saying that poor kids should be made to clean the crap of the rich kids in school. He's like, they don't have enough money for school? That's all right. Make them part-time janitors. Make them clean the toilets, okay? He's not joking. He's leading the Republican race. This guy's a joker, by definition. Uh, no, don't fire him. It was a bad, in bad taste, but no, don't fire him. What's really interesting is that with Jeremy Clarkson, you know, after he made this so-called joke, the BBC received about 21,000 phone calls and emails calling for his resignation. Like, they wanted him out of there, right? So mm -hmm. there was a lot of outrage over this joke. However, in the United States, you're completely right about that. You have Newt Gingrich, who isn't making a joke. He's being extremely serious. And what kind of consequences is he going to face? I guess we're going to see it in the polls later, but, yeah. I, no, but that no, kind of stuff turns Republicans on. Like when he's saying that, Republicans are like, mm, yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know oh, I mean? make him clean our <laughs> toilets. I love it. Yes. Uh, no, you're right. The consequences he's facing is that it looks like he's going to win the Republican primary.